This is why marketing automation is such a big deal. Think about your website. It's the single most powerful sales and marketing weapon in your armory. Let's use our website as an example. Let's imagine, first of all, that Joe Bloggs is on our website and he's visited this page on brand marketing. That then leads him to this page on brand advertising. And finally, he ends up on this page about brand attributes. It's all very standard so far. But on our site, marketing automation is at work. Because Joe's visited three pages on brand marketing, note brand marketing, not any three pages on our website. Because he's visited those pages, we know he's interested in brand marketing. He's passed a threshold. So I get this internal email alert. It could go to any of the sales team, for example, but I'm trying to keep this example simple, so it's coming to me. In your business, you might say that's the point at which an alert should go to your sales team. But me, I'd send Joe an email at this point. But not just any email. An email about brand marketing. Because I know Joe's interested in brand marketing. So this isn't spam email, this is the exact opposite. This is 100% on message. This is the type of email that gets read and gets responded to. And what I'd probably send at this point is a helpful message rather than a self-interest, I sell brand marketing, do you want to buy some message? So I'd probably send Joe a message about Mark Ritson's mini MBA in brand marketing. Has he thought about that? This is the start of what marketing automation does for me. So time passes and Joe visits another page on our website, this page about weak brands. But marketing automation isn't just about which pages Joe visits. It's about what he does on those pages as well. So let's say Joe clicks on the NPS image to enlarge it. That's the kind of engagement on our website we want to track. Or let's say he clicks on part of an image map to find out more about that product or service. That's the type of engagement signal we want to track as well. And with a marketing automation website, we are tracking that kind of activity. And we're scoring it as well. So, for example, he could be getting two points for every page on brand marketing he visits. He could be getting five points for every download about brand marketing he makes. By now, we know that Joe's really interested in brand marketing. His activity tells us that. He's passed a second threshold. At this point, it's time for us to get in touch with him. And how do you manage contact with customers and prospects? With CRM. So automatically in the background this task has been created in our CRM system and this task is telling one of our sales team who to call, why to call and it's actually given them a deadline for when they need to call by as well. And all of this is in the CRM system because this is part of an integrated system. So our website talks to our marketing automation system, they're intertwined, as is the email system, as is the CRM system. It's all integrated. So you can see how marketing automation turns website visitors into customers. That's one of the reasons it's such a big deal. But let's take a step back for a moment. Before we can start emailing and talking to Joe, we've got to know that that anonymous visitor who's trawling through our website is indeed none other than Joe Bloggs. How do we persuade him to identify himself to us so we can track his activity and talk to him? Marketing automation helps us with that as well. If Joe was somebody we had already heard of, if we'd seen his name in the press, then we could start off by sending him an email. If he responds to that email, then we track everything he does afterwards on our website. And it's worth saying at this point, this is not the creepy cyber stalking type of tracking that third party uh, cookies were so infamous for. This is just watching what somebody does on your own website. 
It's like a shop assistant uh, watching what kind of clothes you look at in their store. It's not like that shop assistant following you out of their shop and seeing what you do in the rest of your town centre visit. On the other hand, if you don't have any clue who Joe is, if it's just an anonymous visitor on your website, you can try using pop-ups. So if they visit three pages on brand marketing, we know they're interested in brand marketing, so we show them a pop-up saying, we've got lots of advice on brand marketing, would you like to see it? And notice, this is a relevant pop-up. It's not like you've been looking at dog food, do you want to know about nuclear physics? This is the kind of pop-up that's not as intrusive as pop-ups usually are because it's 100% on message. Alternatively, you could use a chatbot that pops up in a similar circumstance that says, what are your main concerns about brand challenges? The chatbot asks the questions and provides the answers and it finds out who the customer, who that website visitor is. These are all different aspects of marketing automation, but that's not all it does either. It does email management as well. Email is still the most cost-effective of marketing tools. With marketing automation, you can add a new prospect to your mailing list and they will automatically get a series of relevant emails. And the marketing automation system will track how they respond and what they do on your website in response to those emails. When you get a new idea that you want to share with your prospects, you can just add it to your email series and everyone on that list gets it automatically and everything they do in response is tracked. So you always know what people are interested in and whether they're interested at all. So in summary, you can see that marketing automation, it turns anonymous website visitors into customers, it improves your email marketing, and it responds to sales data if you connect it to your sales ledger, but that's a subject for another day. And it does all of this automatically, which makes it so wonderful for regular businesses. This is not a tool that's reserved for the Unilevers of this world. Regular businesses can use this as well. That's why it's such a big deal. Let's compare that to life without marketing automation. You've still got your website. You've probably got scars from the cost of the last redesign you did. And you've spent months optimizing your content to attract new visitors to your site. And your numbers are going up, which is fantastic. But then nothing. What else are you getting from that? You've got activity without advantage. All those website visitors are anonymous. You don't know who they are and you're not selling to them. You're not making any money out of them. This has become one of the most pointless marketing activities you've ever undertaken. And that's a title with some pretty tough competition. Let's look at your email marketing. You'd probably prefer a proctologist appointment to the agony you went through creating your first 10 emails. But you created those emails and you sent them out. And then what? You've got no idea. What have you got from those emails? You could, if you wanted to, look at the click-through rates, but they don't really tell you an awful lot about what result that has had on your bottom line. What appointments have you got? What calls have you got to make in response? What deals have you made? How much revenue have you made? You don't know. It's hardly the kind of result that's going to persuade you to create another 10 emails. In the absence of marketing automation, your website and your email activity are lost in the wilderness. They're not contributing to your business's sales performance. So if you're the managing director, you're wondering what exactly do you get for your marketing budget? You're thinking, why shouldn't I slash the marketing budget? And if you're the head of marketing, you're thinking, how long's my job gonna last? It could all be so different. So what are your next steps? Well, if you want to go the DIY route, the first option, everything we've described here and shown on screen is done with the Zoho One suite of applications. This is a suite of applications, I think there are about 40 of them that could run your entire business, uh, but for the purposes of marketing automation, there are three applications that are relevant. Uh, one, Zoho Marketing Automation, 
that handles the website tracking, the email management and the pop-ups. There's Zoho Sales IQ, which handles the chatbots, and then the Zoho CRM, which handles CRM. Uh, Zoho One costs, I mean, it's ridiculous, costs £80 per user per month, which is ridiculously low. There's, there's actually a lower tariff as well, but normally it's £80 per user per month. That's how we do it. You could also use things like HubSpot or Pardot in Salesforce or a host of other marketing automation platforms. They'll just tend to cost you a whole heap of money more. Once you have the applications, you need to categorize all the events that are going to uh, trigger and be monitored. So, for example, all the pages on our website that are about brand management include the word brand in their URL. If you're lucky, the setup of your website might do that automatically. Next, you have to set up fields in your marketing automation system to hold the scores that you're going to monitor on the topics that interest you. So for me, it's uh, brand marketing, it's lead generation, it's event management. For you, it would be something else. Thirdly, you need to set up the scoring system for what happens on your website. So for example, two points for visiting a web page, uh, three points for clicking on an image, five points for downloading something, and so on. Then you also have to have a system uh, of thresholds at which appropriate action will happen. So at 10 points, an internal email is sent to someone within the business. At 15 points, an email is sent to the prospect. At 25 points, a sales call is set up in the CRM system, something like that. And yes, obviously, you have to create the content as well, the web pages that will attract visitors to your site, the emails that people should be grateful to receive. The second option is the assisted option. So if you don't have the time, the people or the system to put all of this in action, well, that's what we're here for. Give us a call. We're still surprisingly friendly.